been trying to be that my whole life, but ABC has found a new sandbox for me to play in yeah. with these two children running around called Luke and Katie. Lionel Richie is an American singer, songwriter, record producer, and television personality. He rose to fame in the 1970s as a songwriter and the co-lead singer of the funk band The Commodores. He's won four Grammy Awards, including Song of the Year for We Are the World and Album of the Year for Can't Slow Down. In 2016, Richie received the Songwriters Hall of Fame's highest honor, the John Mercer Award. In 2022, he received the Gershwin Prize for Popular Song from the Library of Congress, as well as the American Music Awards Icon Award. He was also inducted into the Black Music and Entertainment Walk of Fame and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2022. Because I, you know how you, you can plan for just about everything else, mm -hmm. but there are moments that come along that you just, if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Lionel Brockman Ritchie Jr., but is also known as Lionel Ritchie. He was born June 20th, 1949 in Tuskegee, Alabama, making him 73 at the time of this production. He stands at 1.803 meters or 5 feet 10 inches tall. He's a big fan of oatmeal cookies and carrot cake. He loves reading during his free time. Richie is a skilled gardener and spends plenty of time tending to his flowers, including his favorites, the Bougainvillea. Richie loves Drake and Bruno Mars, both of whom he considers talented storytellers. Richie is a Freemason. Richie helped to raise over $3.1 million for the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Richie suffered prolonged throat problems and had surgery four times in four years before being told by conventional doctors that he could lose his singing career. He then turned to a holistic doctor who said the problem is simply acid reflux caused by the foods Richie was eating before going to bed. He's a member of the Kappa Kappa Psi Fraternity and Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. He seriously considered becoming an Episcopalian priest before turning to music. Richie was Nelson Mandela's stylist for the duration of his 1990 visit to the United States. After a guest appearance on Chinese Idol, fans told Richie that a handful of his songs were used in their curriculum to learn English. Messi's parents, both massive Lionel Richie fans, named the FC Barcelona star after the singer. In American rapper Biggie Smalls' 1997 track, I Love the Dough, the line, Rich Like Lionel, references Richie's then massive fortune. He's a fussy seafood eater. Richie completely avoids crab, octopus, and mussels. Richie collects fireplaces, is constantly poring over design magazines, and frequents art galleries throughout his travels. On October 18, 1975, Richie married his college sweetheart, Brenda Harvey. In 1983, the couple informally adopted Nicole Camille Escovedo, now Nicole Richie, the two-year-old daughter of a member of Lionel's band, who was also the niece of drummer Sheila E. The Richies raised Nicole as their daughter and adopted her legally when she was nine years old. In June 1988, Harvey was arrested and charged with corporal injury to a spouse, resisting arrest, trespassing, vandalism, battery, and disturbing the peace after she found Richie at Diane Alexander's Beverly Hills apartment. Richie and Harvey divorced on August 9, 1993 after nearly 18 years of marriage. Richie married Diane Alexander on December 21, 1995. They have a son, Miles Brockman, and a daughter, Sophia Richie. The marriage ended in 2004. Richie became a grandfather in 2008 when Nicole Richie gave birth to a baby girl with the lead singer of Good Charlotte, Joel Madden. Richie's second grandchild was born to the couple in 2009. And saying, oh my God, Dad, what is this all about? Because they missed the whole story, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And so from the Commodores all the way through to that moment. He's the son of Lionel Brockman Ritchie Sr., a U.S. Army Systems Analyst, and Alberta R. Foster, a principal and teacher. His grandmother, Adelaide Mary Brown, was a pianist who played classical music. He grew up on the campus of the Tuskegee Institute. He graduated from Joliet Township High School in Joliet, Illinois, where he was a star tennis player. He attended the Tuskegee Institute on a tennis scholarship and graduated with a B.S. in economics. 
Ritchie formed a number of R&B groups in the mid-1960s while he was a student in Tuskegee. Ritchie attended graduate school briefly at Auburn University. In 1968, Ritchie joined the Commodores as a singer and saxophone player. The group signed a one-record recording deal in 1968 with Atlantic Records before moving to Motown Records. The Commodores became a popular R&B group with the songs Brick House, Machine Gun, Easy, and Three Times a Lady. In the late 1970s, Ritchie started writing songs on commission for other musicians. Ritchie's debut solo album, Lionel Ritchie, was released in 1982 and had three hit singles, Truly, You Are, and My Love. Throughout the 1980s, Ritchie had a number of top 10 hits, including Hello, Stuck on You, Running with the Night, and Penny Lover. He wrote and recorded the title song for the 1981 movie Endless Love. It was a duet with Diana Ross that was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Original Song in 1982. Ritchie's albums in the 1990s failed to match the success of his first three albums. Since 2004, Ritchie's produced six top 40 singles in the UK. He released the album Just Go in 2009. On March 26, 2012, Ritchie released his 10th studio album, Tuskegee. In 2019, Ritchie was a judge on American Idol. Because when I, when I say that sincerely, Dick Clark called me on the phone and said, you're hosting the show. And I said, but I don't know how to host the show. He said, you will after you finish. Lionel Ritchie is an incredibly gifted musician and producer who first rose to fame with the group The Commodores. He also enjoyed a very successful solo career. During his solo career, Ritchie became one of the most successful balladeers of the 1980s and has sold over 100 million records worldwide, making him one of the world's best-selling artists of all time. Ritchie's had enormous success and became very popular in a number of Arab nations in recent years. He's performed in Morocco, the United Arab Emirates, Egypt, and Libya. On March 25, 2019, Ritchie announced a 33-day tour across North America for the summer. His Hello Tour kicked off May 10th at Arlington's Cabo Festival and runs through August. Lionel Richie reportedly made $10 million as a judge during his first season of American Idol in 2019. In 2016, he launched Lionel Richie Home, a line of ornate dinnerware, glassware, and home decor items, followed in 2018 by a line of bath towels, duvets, decorative pillows, quilts, and sheets. He has a net worth of $200 million. He owns one of the most impressive estates in Beverly Hills. He's been living in his Beverly Hills mega mansion since the late 1990s. The all night long hit maker's home is a whopping 17,000 square feet and boasts 28 rooms. The estate was originally built in 1929 and underwent plenty of renovations and updates, including those Richie made when he moved in. It was built for Kerry Guggenheim by architects Harry Corner and William J. Gage on an knoll overlooking the Los Angeles Country Club. The Hello Artist spent millions customizing the entire inside of the property the exact way he wanted, and he made sure outside the manor had plenty of amenities as well, including a Zen Rose Garden, several spacious terraces, and a large swimming pool with a spa. He owns the following cars, a Range Rover, a Mercedes S550, a Ferrari Scaglietti, a Porsche 911. A Rolls Royce. 